Righty, righty, right. <laughs> this is going to be a good one today. In this here box, I have the newest knife in the Civivi lineup, the Civivi Mini Elementum. And when they said mini, they meant mini. I can tell you that this thing is fucking tiny. <laughs> Every time I look at it, it cracks me up because it's so small. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael, please. 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 Straight up, I'm going to put this out there. This video isn't sponsored by Civivi, unfortunately. I wish it was. Civivi, if you see this and you want to work with me, I'd love to because your stuff is amazing. Bought this knife with my own money for two reasons. First reason, I'm a huge fan of the original Elementum. I've carried it so much, used it for so many different things, and it's such a good beater of a knife. Holds an edge really well. Hasn't broken on me yet, and it's just a sick little knife to have. So... If you need a knife, get an Elementum basically, and they're cheap, they're like 50 quid. Second reason, I just wanted to test it out and see what it was like and see if I would actually have a use for it because I didn't know if I needed a really, 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 really small knife, which this is. So I bought it, they came out yesterday, it got here today. I've opened it, I've had a look at it, and I fucking love it, it's hilarious. So let's open the box and see if you can have a laugh as well. I don't think you're ready for this. It's so small. There it is. That's it. That's all it is. That is the knife. I got mine in the hand rub brass colour because love me some brass. And it is fucking tiny. Like size comparison, this is the original Elementum closed and this is the mini Elementum also closed. It is so small. I don't know if that's focused or not, I hope it is. But it's literally tiny. And the Elementum isn't actually considered a big knife. People consider this to be a small knife. Now if I put this next to my Protect Malibu, the Elementum looks small next to the Malibu. So for this to make this look like an absolute giant is saying something. So if you open this knife up, the action is actually quite good. I have had to do a couple of bits to it because I've got like gorilla hands. Like this knife is like tiny. So I was struggling to open it up. So what I've done, I've just put some oil in it and loosened this little nut or bolt, whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know. I don't really know anything about that kind of stuff. So now I've done that, opens like an absolute dream. You can actually get a reasonably good purchase on it as well. Like obviously it's so small you can choke all the way up the end. That's what she said. <clears throat> Nope. You're not going to want to be doing hardcore tasks with this like you would with the Malibu because this will not handle what this can handle. But for what you need it for, you can get a very good grip on it between your index finger and your middle finger and then you've got your thumb obviously on the top to balance it out or choke it up or do whatever you need to do. It's a very impressive little knife. I will give them that. Let's talk some specs. What we have is a 1.8 inch 14C 28N blade steel hollow ground, which is awesome, and it's finished with a grey hand rubbed finish. Good blade, super sharp out of the box, surprisingly. I was skeptical, I was like, is it going to be sharp? Is it not going to be sharp? It's sharp, and I will show you how sharp it is if I can find something to sh slice. Oh. This. I've already sliced this a little bit. Weapons Galore, that's where I bought it from. Great company. Great stock for Civivi. And it will cut through this paper. It's like thick cardstock paper. It will cut through like butter. Ready? Do you see that? Like, just cutting straight through. Madness. So, I don't know too much about the blade steel, but so far out of the box i've had it for about three hours now and it's really sharp it's running with ceramic cage ball bearings obviously and it's actually a frame lock knife which is rare for Civivi. i don't actually think they have any other frame lock knives that i know of most of them are liner locks but i don't think you get a liner lock in this anyway because it's so small so it has got a little frame lock which is actually quite nice on the presentation side of the knife you've got hand rub brass there's also a hand rub copper version which is also very nice and then on the lock side it's just hand rub stainless steel so it's got that sort of like two-tone look to it i never used to be a fan but i think it quite suits this knife and if you get up quite close to the knife itself you can actually see the finish on it it does look quite cheap i won't lie but 
The knife basically looks like a toy anyway, so you're not gonna get something that looks really, really high class. The full open length of this knife is 4.33 inches, which is ridiculous considering some knives have like a four inch blade on them anyway. And it weighs no more than 1.42 ounces. So it's super light. I mean, it's got some weight to it for something so small, but it is super light. If you compare it to, again, the beast, Oh my god, look at that. I haven't done that yet. It's open and it is the same length as literally the folded up Malibu. That's how small it is. Absolutely ridiculous. So small. It's just a nice, small, simple, basically a letter opener. I'm not quite sure what sort of use I would have for it, to be honest, because it's so small. I wouldn't put it in my pocket because I'd lose it. It's just one of those things, I think I'll probably just keep it in my bag or maybe keep it in my pouch or my desk or something. Just to be like, if I've got something that I need to open and I don't need to use a bigger knife or I can't be bothered to go and get my bigger knife from wherever I've left it. Just have it there ready to go at all times. I think it's one of those ones, I'm not sure. I, I'm gonna have to see how it goes with it. I am planning on doing another video more in depth on this knife in the coming weeks and months basically just to give you guys an update and say whether I think it's actually worth it if I've actually used it or not but for now leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this knife is it a complete waste of time would you get it would you use it would you just buy it and give it to your girlfriend to keep in a bag would you buy it and just do what I'm gonna do and just have it as like a if you need a knife kind of thing what you could do is you could keep it in you know that really irritating fucking useless pocket in your jeans that just gets used for nothing unless you're gonna store coins in it or some shit which you don't need. You could put that in there and you might actually know where it is then. That could be a good idea. But at the same time, it's like I carry a bigger knife with me in my pocket, so I don't really need to have this as well. So, I don't know, I just have to see how it goes. But yeah, leave me a comment of what you think on it. If you did enjoy this video, subscribe and you will see more videos coming of this knife and loads of other knives. I like talking about knives. Leave a like if you liked it. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. Don't care. Do what the fuck you want. And come back next week for another video because I'll be doing more in a better set because this is just a temporary thing while I'm sorting out the rest of my office because the rest of it currently looks like shit because of holes in the walls and mismatched paint everywhere. So when that's done, there'll be an update on that as well. But for now, this is what we got. got a little knife, a little tiny knife. I can't get over it. It's so small. Yeah, this was just like a first impressions thing, so I hope you had a laugh as much as I had a laugh looking at it, because it's ridiculous, and I will see you in the next video. See you later.